What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of my new Scuffed Impact controller. And yes, 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 before you all sign off in the comments and start yelling at me, where, quoting me where I said I would never ever go back to Scuffed controllers, I know, I know. However, unfortunately, I've been having a little too many issues with and it mostly comes to the triggers. And long story short, the controller kept depressing farther than what it was made to do. And it just is a hassle constantly dealing with it all over again. So without further ado, I am actually going to get into the unboxing of the Scuff Impact that I had ordered and go from there. So here's the box. I apologize if I hit my desk a little too loud. Got the handy dandy knife that the uh, sis bought me. Oh, by the way, it is a Marine Corps knife. So even though this is a couple days after the Marine Corps birthday, happy birthday Marines, as well as happy Veterans Day to all veterans, um, even though that was like a couple days ago. I apologize. However, we're gonna get into this. So. ahead and have it face you and when you guys can see this so I ended up did end up getting this uh, new case for the controller for free and at the time of this video if you use code player one um, at the com on your checkout you can actually get a case as well as all the goodies inside of there for free um, instead of paying the $24.99 or the $19.99 deal whatever they have now so we have a braided cable um, for the controller. I think this is probably like 10 feet. And then we have, whoops, this wonderful gamer grip. Yeah. Probably never gonna use that. And then last but not least, we also have your uh, scuff precision thumbsticks. And this is concave thumbsticks that um, are just a regular size. So nothing too extreme. And obviously the hard case itself for the controller. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put all that back in here. Put that to the side. And then we have the actual Scuff Impact controller itself. Now, Scuff Impact controller, it is, I wanna say about similar to an Xbox 360 controller size. Um, but the best part about a Scuff Impact controller is that it actually has four paddles on the back versus two like the Scuff Infinity or the Scuff 4PS that was prior to that. Um, real quick look at the box. I apologize for the glare. Scuff Impact. This is not the actual controller. Uh, at least this isn't. But I did get the black version of this. And yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. Oh, fancy, huh? All right, so in the box, before we get into the controller, we have your uh, Welcome to the World of Scuff. Thank you, CEO and founder, uh, Duncan, uh, for this wonderful card thingy majiggy. Then we actually, ooh, we have a product guide for your Scuff, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Sanji Gaming doesn't do product guides. It's literally a nicely detailed uh, product guide. I'm probably not going to use it. If I want to look for something, I'll look it up on the internet. So, in here, we have, before we get to the controller, this wonderful thing that changes out the rings and the um, thumbsticks. I'll show you that in just a second. Then we have, hey, we have well, on this side, the magnetic key and probably a little guide on how to actually do it. And it says location for EMR uh, replacement key. That way I can actually remap the um, paddles. Then we also have a little key for, I guess for the triggers, but I don't know why, but I guess it's here for some reason. And then your little, um, extended um, trigger fang things that I'm never gonna use. Yeah, 
So, I mean, so much extra stuff. And then on this side, there's nothing. So, here is the controller itself. It looks beautiful. It's like a little black honeycomb uh, with uh, silver anodized buttons, as well as, unfortunately, I couldn't get the rings. These rings right here, I like a silver as well, but it looks pretty nice. It still looks promising. I still like the way it looks. Uh, as, I, as you can tell, this thumbstick, the left hand thumbstick, is actually the normal size, and then the right hand one is actually um, on the larger scale. Uh, it's easier for FPS. Like I said, anodized buttons right here, as well as the bumpers on top. However, the triggers are not anodized, which is kind of weird because they didn't have an option to actually make them anodized. Uh, could be a good thing to have. Turning the controller around on the back side, oh, before we get there, we also got the little, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the little scuff, sorry, sorry, don't yell at me. The scuff logo right here um, with your little 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, I don't ever use that. But yeah, anyways, coming back to the back of the controller, we have the uh, scuff grip on it. And I actually like this grip better than any grip I've had on any other controllers. Um, it just feels so much more natural um, than literally any controller I've actually had in prior in the past. But we are going to go ahead and test this out as well as on the scuff impacts. They come with four paddles versus two like the Infinity and the 4PS did. Um, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. And in order to uh, remove one, all you do is lift it up and then just pull it off. And then there it really comes off. And as you can see, it's off. And yeah. So you can go ahead and choose any combination of paddles that you actually want on it. Um, as long as there's um, obviously one on either side. Um, it, and it's kind of pointless to buy this if you don't want paddles on it. So yeah. Anyways, I'm having trouble actually putting this back on, but it's okay. Uh. And Marine is telling me how he truly feels about himself. Whatever. We'll put it back on later. So another good thing to notice about this is that there are no rumbles. Obviously you can't see that, but it is extremely light or lighter compared to a uh, controller with rumbles. And um, for the paddles, even though I just took it off, you can see that little teeny tiny button and that's the actuator. Wait, hold on. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's the actuator where the paddle actually hits. Uh, I apologize that if it didn't actually uh, you know, zoom in correctly. Um, there are trigger stops on the triggers itself that can be adjusted. Uh, but right now it feels like it's a little bit too much. So I can turn the trigger stops around in order to um, make it like a little lighter. Then we have this little uh, housing right here for the cable. And I like this because it actually prevents any wiggle of that braided cable when it's inside a controller. Um, you can use this wirelessly. You can use it um, with a wire. So you get that uh, initial feedback from the controller itself. And that's pretty much everything. Um, right here is where the EMR would go to remap the paddles. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be uh, pretty interesting going back to a scuff controller. But this actually feels pretty nice. Uh, compared to the 4PS that I used to have, um, but I actually had the PlayStation 4 shell um, versus their custom shell um, on this controller. So real quick, I'm gonna actually show you guys how this key works um, for the controller. If you guys don't know how to actually use one or if you're just curious, if you never had a scuff controller in your life. So this ring right here, the white ring, actually comes off and you can change the thumbsticks out so what you're gonna do is you can take that key that I showed you earlier, gonna pop it in like so, turn it. After you turn it, the ring <laughs> should fall out similar to that. And then uh, go ahead and just pop the thumbstick off and 
interchange them with whatever thumbsticks that you want. And the good thing about the um, Scuff uh, controller for the uh, Impact series is that you can actually put the original PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 thumbsticks on it if you want. And actually with the uh, ring as well, and you'll still be able to use it. Okay, now that the unboxing is over, let's get into the review. Just so you know, Scuff has not paid me to say anything that I'm about to say, and they have not given me anything to make this review. The Scuff Impact Controller that I have, I had to pay for. I am doing this review solely on my own accord. This review was taken about a week and a half after I actually received the controller. So, let's get into everything that I liked first about the Scuff Impact, then we will get into everything that I disliked, and we will finish up with um, what I didn't actually use, as well as what I think should change. At the time of getting this controller, I have already had a bad experience with Scuff controllers before, so I was kind of taking a huge chance with the Scuff Impact. When the Scuff 4PS was first released, I actually bought two of the controllers, and this was also my first experience with Scuff controllers. If you would like to take a look at that review that I did for that controller, it'll be in an annotation at the top right of the screen now or in the description of this video. Getting back to the impact though. First off, I like that the shell is bigger than a normal PS4 controller and that is due to Scuff using their own shells for this series of controllers. In retrospective, it feels like you are holding an Xbox 360 controller, or at least it feels as wide as one. The D-pad and the symbol buttons to me feel like there is a little bit more feedback when you press them, like if they were kind of like spring loaded after they are actuated and I love that. It feels like they have a slight more tension to them. The grip is nice and there is no sign of wear and tear even after 10 plus hours a day of constant gaming in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, or even Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Since the trigger stops are on the outside and are semi-adjustable, it is almost impossible to break them or depress them too far unless you are putting crazy amounts of force on them. The EMR, which is the electromagnetic remapping, works as intended, and I definitely like that we can change out the thumbsticks, and I'll get into that in just a few. As for the paddles for the Scuff Impact, you can actually have four paddles instead of just two that come with the Scuff 4PS or the Scuff Infinity. Oh, and the paddles haven't broke, which is also a plus. Now, I know that Scuff had an issue with this in the past, but it seems like the past is where that issue will stay. But I also like the fact that you can choose any combination of four paddles that I want to use, whether it be either using all four paddles, using two on one side and a single paddle on the other, only using two paddles on one side, or one paddle on each side, etc, etc, etc. As for the braided wire cable, I like that you need to add a little bit of force when putting it into the controller, and that is due to the snug fit of the little box that keeps the wire from moving around on the bottom of the shell of the controller. Now, let's get into the things that I didn't like about the Scuff Impact. First off, let's talk about the thumbsticks, and specifically, the Scuff thumbsticks. Switching out the thumbsticks was easy, and I didn't like the scuff thumbsticks at first because it felt like rubber rubbing on plastic, and I immediately switched them out for my PS4 thumbsticks. That is until I started to get a lot of stick drift, or what I thought was stick drift, in the controller. An example of this is like, after 30 minutes of gaming with my scuff impact and my PS4 thumbsticks, they actually started to get caught in the direction I was moving, and I had to readjust them every single time. Over time, this actually got extremely annoying, especially in FPS games, which in turn got me killed a lot. Eventually, I put enough wear into the controller, and I was able to switch back to the scuff thumbsticks, and I didn't get that rubbing feeling anymore. Next, I do not like that the EMR in the controller only remaps to face buttons and not bumpers or triggers as well. I know because I have tried over and over to remap it, and it just never worked. However, if I am correct, the Scuff Impact only allows you to map face buttons. But it didn't hurt to try anyways. Face buttons are the D-pad and the symbol buttons on the opposite side. And this is an issue for me because in most games I play, I use R1 as my melee button, which is usually mapped to the bottom right paddle or button depending on who made the controller. This helps so I don't have to take my fingers off the controller when I ADS and shoot, and have to turn around fast in order to melee. 
Some games allow you to fully set up custom in-game controls and others don't. Going back to the paddles. Yes, there were things that I did and did not like. So when it comes to the scuff impact paddles, I still only use two paddles, which are on the outsides closest to the grip. With four paddles, it feels weird using my ring fingers to press the paddles and I felt like I was reaching too far with my middle fingers to press the paddles in the middle. Because of this, I only use two paddles and my middle fingers are the ones resting on those because it feels more natural to me. Not to mention, the paddles in the middle are a lot smaller than the ones on the outsides. However, I'm pretty sure you can like order um, extra paddles that normally go on the outsides and put them in the middle. So I will actually have to try that out to see if I like that as well. However, I did try to switch out the middle paddles with the outside ones and it just didn't feel right either. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. One feature that I didn't use for the controller was the 3.5mm jack at the bottom front of the controller. Now, I have a SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless headset, so there was actually no need for me to use it. I also didn't use the extended L2 and R2 fame looking like trigger things either. I just didn't need to because I like the triggers on the controller. So, all in all, I love the controller. The Scuff Impact is amazing, and if I had the money, I would definitely buy a second one, but with a different front shell. If you don't have a Scuff Impact, then I suggest you go ahead and get one because this controller is the truth. And if you never had a Scuff controller before, I would say go ahead and skip the 4PS, skip the Infinity, and go straight for the Impact. Yes, it is kind of pricey, but if you are a serious gamer and are serious about your gaming, it is definitely worth every penny. I promise you will not regret it. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.